Welcome to Storycraft Studio. Today we're doing something new and hopefully good. Um, what we're going to do is a customizer's review. You know, on here and on all sorts of different places, you can get reviews on dolls for like a collection or toys and stuff. And that's really great, but for customizing, no one really talks about the difference between the things of how they compare to others and... I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to compare this doll, but... Today we're going to talk about the doll I just recently customized, which was a Enchantables, specifically from their beach line. And here she is. She is a Denise Adir, and she's all finished, and she's adorable. I'm very proud of her, but to go talk about what it is, what it's like to customize her. First off, being from the beach line, she has this painted on swimsuit, which you can get off pretty easily with just with um, nail buffer, um, acetone free nail polish remover because, you know, this is a hard plastic body and acetone will probably melt it. I didn't check, but it's, it's, it's. If you if you want to try using your nail polish remover that you use for the face, definitely try it on a area of the body that's not going to be show up when you're finished or just be very very gentle. But I wouldn't recommend it. There are very few bodies that I understand actually put up with acetone, so I don't. So I didn't try um but I just had um normal sandpaper and it's if you can get a nail buffer, get the nail buffer because using regular sandpaper just doesn't work well because you have to like really get into it. If you can, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera. Yeah, you can. There are dips and crevices where I couldn't really get in and in trying to get the paint off, I actually might have taken out some of the curves and detailing of the body, which she, she's she got a dress that's up to here so you can't tell, but if that bothers you, I would definitely just get the nail buffer because it's soft and it'll get in there. But, so, let's talk about her articulation. She's pretty obviously got the normal, what what's called five points, where she can move her elbow. You know, it's making a weird... Why is it making a weird clicking sound? That's just worrying. <laughs> but her head moves. Shoulder, legs. Not off the side, just up in front. It's very... She's a very basic doll, and all the enchantables I've seen, they're all very basic. They're small. They're cute. They don't need particularly complex articulation. You you just kind of play with them and play with the play sets and the little animals. The beach series does now the difference. Be, one of the differences between the beach and the normal, which I'm gonna keep harping to until I get everything out, is um the normal ones actually have a molded top for the girls. The guys I've seen have molded pants, which ew. But the girls have molded tops and they have a ledge right there in here where the skirt tucks in. Now, if you're just going to do, like, a face-up and a little bit of customization, that's not bad. But if you want to make a whole new character with whole, a with whole new outfit, that's really kind of off-putting. You can definitely mod it with, like, by sanding away or filling in. But I'm not someone who does that, so, you know, I didn't do that. The next thing we're going to talk about is the hair. It's very nice hair. It's nice and soft. It's got some good shape. I tried to style it a little bit, but... Because it's so short than other dolls, it's really hard to get it to do anything because it has no weight to hold any style. So it's got a little bit of a bend in the fibers from when I tried to shape it, but it doesn't... Well, let me show you. It's When I hold it like this, it's just, it's just going to hold up. I can put a little tiny elastic band and it's just going to stay like that because it's so short and it has no weight to pull it down unless it's like that, so... Um, you can probably use some, you can probably do the curling method and that'll look really cute, but I haven't done that yet and I'm, I was too nervous to do that. One day I'm going to try that, one day, but it, it requires a lot of boiling water and it's not very convenient to do that in my kitchen. But also they, I'm not sure if it's because they use just the right amount of glue or if it's sewn in, which is a possibility, but the hair has none of that sliminess that sometimes you get with dolls. That is, the, that comes when the glue melts a lot and seeps out or is just too much in. That happens with dolls, and it does not, it did not happen with this one. As to what it's like to pull the roots out, I have no idea, because it's got that tiny little neck hole, and I really didn't want to try and take it out. Also, the head's a little hard, so it may be hard to cut into, so. My preference is to just leave the hair, because it's really nice. You may want to try take it out and try and if you do like put it in the comments what you got the results you got but I don't think it's very it may not be a great idea 
Also, from the, they all the Enchantable series all have animal features, and this girl had deer antlers, which were not too hard to get out. As you can see, they've got the base which sits here, and then a plug which goes all the way down. Now I needed to get um, pliers to give me leverage. But then I could just pull them out. I damaged a little bit on one of them because I was getting frustrated. But if if you're careful and you do it right, you can get them out without damaging the little antlers or ears or whatever. And keep them because it's always a good idea to keep the extra stuff from dolls. This one, other than her antlers, had no stuff. This line does not come with shoes because they're at the beach. And they don't come with their little animal sidekicks, which I would have liked, but... The, then you've got the problem of the skirt that tucks under and... Mm. So that doesn't work with me. Okay, another thing that I'm not sure... Let's see. No, the camera isn't really picking it up. There is shimmer and fine, extra super, like, pearlex fine glitter in her skin. I'm not sure if it's all the Enchantables dolls or just Denisa. But... It's really pretty. It gives it this really nice shine, but if you don't like it, you can probably cover it up with pastels or paint. But then you're repainting the doll, and some of you may not want to do that. So, I don't know. If you don't like the glimmer, you're, the shimmer, you're just... Don't get this doll, I guess? I know. I'm not very helpful. Maybe this isn't a great review. What is this? What is this? I didn't... What? Okay, we're, we're gonna move on. Okay, the next thing I was gonna talk about were the feet. The feet have not, they don't have the the huge arch of the um, Monster High dolls where you could put like, I don't know, you can put their whole hand underneath where their heel is. It's like, it'd be like a five inch stiletto on a human and it is alarming that these teenage girls are wearing them, but that's neither here nor there. It's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this one who has a very respectable like an inch heel, which is really nice. It's really, it's not alarming. It gives it a nice shape. And it's not too hard to do for, like, when you're shaping the shoe, it's not a big deal to add a heel. That rhymed. Let's not do that a lot. <laughs> but so what I did for this particular project was I used foam to create the shoe. I heated up the foam, shaped it around, and then sewed the bottom because I don't have great confidence in my hot gluing ability to hold it together. <laughs> But this is the shoe I came up with, and it is really good, I gotta say. It's a really good shoe, and with a little practice, I think I could do really pretty perfect shoes. So, I would recommend doing foam, because this is way too small. These shoes' feet are way too small for the walker color method that is everybody's standby, standby of paper mache the foot. It's a really great method, I've never mastered it, but... For this, I just think it's too small to try and paper mache because you're going, you would have to get like crazy fine pieces because anything normal size that you would use for a doll feet, it's just going to cover the whole thing and it's just, it's going to get chunky and a little crazy. So foam or if you've bought one of the ones with one of the normal line that'll come with shoes and just repaint the shoes. That's always my choice when I can. I don't opt in because of the way I design, but if you can... Probably just paint it or use foam. Just heat the foam, shape it around, and then sew or glue or something to hold it on the bottom, and you get a really nice shoe. The heels on the, the soles I'm still working on, but that's not part of the review. Okay, now the hands. The hands are... They are nice and well sculpted, but when you're trying to dress the doll, it catches. I gotta tell you that. That's one of the reasons that the Monster High, Ever After High have removable hands is so they don't get in the way when you're closing, when you're dressing the doll. And on this, these dolls, it does get in the way. Especially if you've got a long sleeve something with a wide knit like I do for this doll, which is this, I made her this fur coat and it's got these huge holes in the knitting because it's fur. And it catches a lot. It, it takes some doing. Comes off really easy, but getting it on is really difficult. So... I don't know how you're going to deal with that. I just kind of patiently work my way through it because this is plastic and it is small. So be gentle when you're putting on the clothes that you've made because it can it can probably break this stuff. And I that would be heartbreaking because, again, it is so small, it is very difficult to repair. It can be done. It's just it's going to be it's going to be a struggle and I don't want you to deal with that. So be gentle when you're working with the hands. 
the this curved one on this doll most of the fingers are good the thumb is the weak point on this one the pointer finger is the weak point just be aware of those and try to be gentle if if you know of a way how to get these kind of hands through a sleeve with big holes please put it in the comments so everybody else can read it definitely try if you if you have ideas actually for any of this stuff or suggestions please put it in the comments for everybody so, so everybody can read and learn the point of this review is to help people in this help the doll community learn how to handle these kind of dolls or any kind of doll we're always trying to get better and we all need to support each other because well that's the point of art is to support and be there and have fun and share our ideas okay so the final part the very very part which is the main concern for pretty much all doll artists, which is the face-up. Now this, I gotta tell you, I'm a little biased on this face because this is one of, I've only made, oh, let me back up. I recently, just this year, got my hands on some Super Clear, my very first can. Oh my gosh, it makes all the difference. If you can invest get super mr super clear and get a mask with it because it, i i did the whole stupid thing where i don't need a mask i can go outside and spray and then i'll just run away really quickly quickly so i don't breathe it in that's not gonna work you cannot outrun this stuff get the mask be safe your health is more important than being cheap there are lots of inexpensive masks and i've got one coming in this week that will hopefully save my lungs from for future problems future projects but be safe just this stuff will mess with you this is this is the stuff that it's supposed to hold on really really tight so it's binding with your lint with the particles in your lung it's going to hurt you're going to feel like crap wear the mask but so back to the actual face up so mr super clear on this it stuck really well and it created this perfect paper like texture but as for the quality of the face it's very hard I mean, I have to really push to get any kind of deforming on it. So it's it's a hard head. It's probably what it feels like after you shrunk a Monster High or Ever After High head. It's very tough. It's very hard. One of the reasons it's going to be very difficult to pull the plugs and reroute this kind of doll. Don't I don't recommend that. You can do it if you're crazy, but you're going to break a lot of you're going to break a lot of your needles. But so. The hardness for the face up is actually really good because you can really press in to get your even kind of bad um, color pen watercolor pencils to color in so you can really press them in and you'll get good quality. The mouth cannot be it's it's what it is. It's very molded, as you can see. So you're going to have to deal with the teeth unless you want to mod it, but if you're modding at this scale, I'm worried about your sanity. You are brave and probably a little foolish, but probably very creative and gifted. But so yeah, you're gonna have to deal with the lips and there. But if you're going for a smile, this creates a great natural smile. It just works perfectly. It was very easy to do this. And I just used a little tiny paint to brighten up the teeth and it came out perfect. And then the eyes have very light molding, like ever after high light molding. So it's kind of implied that there is eyes, but there's no hard lines that you have to follow, so you can make any kind of A shape you want. If you're a beginner, this may be hard because I know I still have troubles getting the eyes to look the same, as you can see. But if you're more experienced and you want to make a very different kind of eye on this doll, it's very easy. Because you can just do whatever you want and it won't, the molding won't mess it up. So that's really nice. The ears also have a very they have very light molding so i didn't do a lot with them you should probably um you're supposed to shade those and add the details and stuff but i don't think it takes away if you miss it cuz this is a very small doll and a lot of details will get lost so yeah so i don't i recommend not doing super trying to do super 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 intense details like every kind of little line in the eye that some really amazing artists do cuz it is very it's very difficult, and for if you don't have like soup, the really nice quality you need that'll water pencils that'll hold their sharpness. There's a better word for that, but I can't remember it. But ho will not hold the point as nice. It's going to, it's just, it's going to get messy and it's going to frustrate you. 
and it'll mess it up. I, for mine, did a very easy, simple gradient and then did a really beautiful shine. And that you can do that if you're a beginner like me. But if you want to get in there with more detail, go for it. I don't recommend it, but go for it because, like I said, very small face, very fine detail. But so, that's everything on my list of things I wanted to talk about. So in all, she's, the, the Enchantimals are very, they're not a replacement for the Monster High and Ever After Highs that are going out. So if you're thinking about that, it's not gonna. It is, however, a really good doll to work with because she is very small, very cute, and she's got, she's gonna, it's not gonna be hard to get a cute face on her because she is so small that it's just naturally cute. The um, swimsuits are gonna be what they're gonna be or the shirt and skirt combination. They're, you're gonna have to work around those and make it work, but you can, and you can get really good results. And yeah, I, I like these dolls, and I think I'm gonna work with them again when I wanna do something small and cute. But as a replacement for the main dolls I wanna do, not this one. And depending on how you wanna do, if you wanna do small, cute dolls, that are just very simple and very much going to just stand there and not do a lot of posing, then these are wonderful. But for complex dolls, definitely try and find something else. We're going to keep doing more doll reviews as I customize them, and I'll, I'll share my results with you. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!